Good evening, my name is David Waring and I'm the Peterson Music Librarian here at Greenwich Library. The music of Beethoven and commentary you hear tonight represents a collaboration between the chamber players of the Greenwich Symphony and Greenwich Library. I would also like to acknowledge Barbara Richards of the Flynn Gallery who has allowed us to use this beautiful space for our program tonight. Currently showing in the Flynn Gallery is a one-woman show, Heidi Johnson Animal Attraction. It depicts an array of animals and objects from the artist's world of large, vivid canvases. It will be in the gallery until January 6th and is available to visit by reservation. We have brought together some very gifted musicians to celebrate the music, specifically the trios of Ludwig van Beethoven. This will be the first of two consecutive evenings programs devoted to the composer. Tomorrow, December 16th, a day when Beethoven would have celebrated his 250th birthday, we will be streaming a lecture by Dr. Gilad Harel, which focuses on Beethoven's towering Ninth Symphony. Returning to the present, the outstanding musicians who will be performing for you this evening are David Creswell Viola, Daniel Miller Cello, Michael Roth Violin, and Helen Campo Flute. And now I'd like to turn the proceedings over to our cellist, Daniel Miller. Hello and welcome. I'm Danny Miller from the Chamber Players of the Greenwich Symphony. The Greenwich Library and we are commemorating Beethoven's 250th anniversary with a look at some of his less well-known works, earlier works that he wrote in his first years in Vienna. The string trios, Opus 3 and Opus 9, big chamber works that approach symphonic scope, and the uncommon serenade for flute, violin, and viola, Opus 25. In November 1792, Beethoven moved permanently from his hometown Bonn to Vienna, at that time seat of the Holy Roman Empire. He received introductions into Viennese musical society, mostly aristocrats, dedicated music amateurs, and patrons of the arts. He was presented by Count Ferdinand von Waldstein. Waldstein, to whom Beethoven dedicated his Opus 53 piano sonata, was a Bavarian aristocrat in the service of the emperor. He was sent to Bonn, at that time an imperial outpost, and was admitted to the court of Archduke Maximilian Franz, the Elector of Cologne. The Elector was a great supporter of the arts and had a court orchestra in which Beethoven was employed as a musician. Waldstein got to know him and took a shine to him, took him under his wing, and was instrumental in having him move to Vienna. Waldstein dubbed Beethoven the musical heir to Mozart. Beethoven made his name quickly as a virtuoso pianist and was embraced by Viennese musical patrons, including Prince Lichnowsky, Prince Lobkowitz, and the colorful Count von Braun, a Russian army officer of Irish descent. For a while, he lived at the home of Prince and Princess Lichnowsky, sort of as an adopted son. He was doted on, expected at meals, and of course shown off at local musicales in their home, other people's homes, and around the city. Count von Braun, to whom Beethoven dedicated the Opus 9 string trios, at one point bestowed upon Beethoven a horse. The young Beethoven was taking riding lessons and dancing lessons in an effort to integrate himself into Viennese society. But he was also studying composition with Haydn, among others, in order to improve and refine his skills as a composer. We're going to play four movements now, one from each of the four string trios. We'll start with the Adagio and Allegro con Brio from the trio in G, then go to the trio in D for the Andante movement. We'll go back to Opus 3, the first string trio for a minuet, and then end with the finale from the final string trio, the trio in C minor. In Beethoven's string trios, we observe all the hallmarks of the mature composer. The continuous motivic and harmonic innovation, sudden shifts in dynamics and color, irrepressible rhythmic exuberance, and of course, indelible melodies. Please enjoy.
We're not sure when the serenade for flute, violin, and viola was written. Some scholars point to early sketches and say it was started in Bonn. Others say and assert that it had to have been written in Vienna. We also don't know whether Beethoven had the idea for this unusual combination of instruments himself or whether it was a commissioned work, perhaps from a household where there were three such instrumentalists. It recalls his earlier style and is in a lighter vein, almost a divertimento intended specifically for a social occasion. Notably, the variation movement contrasts with Beethoven's other work in the variation form. Rather than having ventures into distant keys and textures, it favors embellishment and a decorous ornamental style. The Serenade was published in 1802, and shortly thereafter an arrangement appeared for flute and piano. It appears to have been profitable and popular, and demonstrates Beethoven's role as a working composer in Vienna, providing music geared towards his audience's taste. You'll now hear three movements from the serenade, the entrata, or opening entrance, the andante con variazioni, and the adagio, and allegro vivace e disinvolto, which means offhand or carefree. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy.